Scott here from Vino Las Vegas and here we are still in the Santa Rita Hills and we are at Fiddle Fest at the Fiddlesticks Vineyard. Everybody's familiar with renowned winemaker Kathy Joseph but this is hers, this is all hers here and she makes fantastic wines and not only is she here but all the people that buy some of the grapes from this vineyard are also here pouring their own wine so what a great way to spend an afternoon to listen to some fiddling right here at Fiddle Fest 2008 in Santa Rita Hills. Another part of Fiddle Fest is the Arts Outreach which is a fundraiser that is coordinated with this event to help bring in donations for this fabulous organization that has been around since 1980 bringing after school and summer programs to children and also a annual storytelling festival. So not only do you get to have great food and wine, but some of the proceeds today are going to be going to help support outreach, arts art outreach, bringing art to life and life to art. Scott here from Vino Las Vegas at Fiddle Fest and the food here as well as the wine is very good. Uh, the food is catered by the Hitching Post which as you know is a landmark restaurant here um, in this area and here in the Santa Rita Hills and it's incredible. We were just here in the barn tasting these incredible wines. Um, all have a tie right back here to the Fiddlesticks Vineyard and it's like, it's like a big family. It's like a big wine family all coming home to get together for a reunion. The reunion of the wines and then they go back to, to whatever their specific appellation that they were from and it's just incredible. You got the music and it's for a really good cause. It's for art. And it's for art of the school. It's about art education. So, you know, we're going to continue here. We got a lot more going on here. I'm going to try to get a few winemakers to come and talk to us. I'm sure that would not be a problem at all. But this is a beautiful event and you need to come here. Fiddlesticks. Yeah, no, we're, yeah, a, absolutely, rosemaries. There you go, rosemaries. This is magnificent. Good stuff. It's rosé from Summerlin. Scott here from Vino Las Vegas and we're here in the Fiddlesticks Vineyard and you can see how manicured these vineyards are. I mean look at this. You know, there's there's little tiny fruit, little tiny berries right now, but right now it's it's just getting into the summer months, but trust me in a few months they'll be hanging with ripe fruit from the Fiddlesticks Vineyard. And that's what this is all about. This is Fiddle Fest 2008. And if you look behind me here, we have the hitching post from Buellton is here. And you have everybody enjoying the music. You got some some uh, some fiddling music for Fiddle Fest or Fiddlehead. Fiddling music there in the barn behind me now. You get all of these people, all of these vendors that are pouring their wines. And they all came, the original grace came from right out here. So like we were talking to Kathy before, this is like a family reunion of grapes. It's all right here at Fiddle Fest. You know, it's a great event. Great event. Fiddle Fest 2008. Okay, Scott here from Vino Las Vegas. And we're here at Fiddle Fest inside the barn. And the good thing about this event is that you have you have people that have been doing this for many, many years. And I'm here with John from Dragonette. Yes. John. Sellers. Thanks. Yes. Sellers. So why don't you so how did you get started in this whole wine thing? Well, we're the classic uh, Los Angeles refugees who uh, came up here year after year after year and finally decided to come up here and make our own wine and bring our families up the whole nine yards. Yeah, so you can keep talking as you pour. That's okay. fine, actually. A little Pinot Noir 2006. There we go. Little sticks in here and it's a wow. Hi, how are you? My wife is out there. You want rosé or pinot? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, about, to, I'm about to call in... Uh, a little assistance. Right. <laughs> there you go. All right. 
see you later. All right, see you. So anyway, we, just, we actually we made wine in the garage in Hermosa Beach. Fell in love with the whole process and decided, you know, once you get to the point where you have to decide, do I just want to do this as a hobby or do I really want to do it? We decided we really wanted to do it. So yeah. we came up here and worked uh, in various cellar jobs and vineyard jobs and learned a little bit about it. And launched our brand in 2005. That's great. You know, see, to me, that's what this is all about. That you have, Amy, I, I mean, we did an interview with Kathy a few, you know, a few minutes ago, and you can keep doing it. Yeah, just keep working. Do, okay. do your job. Right. We're back. It's a great put in the water. It's a great Absolutely. Absolutely. Really good stuff. So we were interviewing Kathy a few minutes ago. You know, Kathy, this is... I worked for her. There you go. That's one of my there jobs. Go. There you go. Hey, you couldn't learn from anybody better than that. No, you couldn't. She's yeah, great. she's incredible. So I mean, we just feel honored to be here. Um, you know, we had the opportunity to interview all these people, interview Kathy, and and Peter have been doing it for years. And the new guys, wish you the best of luck. Thank you. That's what it's all about. You start off, you get bigger and bigger. Everybody here started off the same way as that. That's true. So, That's true. You can ask Frank and, and yeah. the Hitching Post. They started. With one barrel, they said uh, 20 years ago. Well, you could you could ask uh, you, you could ask Ampelos, same thing. That's right. They had a barrel in the garage, and now look what they've done. So it's same very, thing. It's very infectious. Yes, it is. <laughs> Wish you the best of luck. Thank Cheers. You very much. Thank you. Okay, so we have the O2. I know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Kathy with her wine, I love that. Yeah. Okay. We're wearing our whole collection. We have not only our O6 Happy Canyon, but we have a vertical selection of Lollapalooza O2, O3, O4, and O5, which is a barrel selection of the oh, best okay. stuff Let's in the cellar. My husband to the right is pouring a single barrel gem, which is called Doyle, one barrel bottle every year. And on the far end, we have Cuvée 728, named after the mile marker of Fiddlesticks Vineyard. And we have a vertical selection of 01, 02, 03, 04, and 05. Thanks. That's great. Alright, is that being recorded? Yes. Me and Eric talking? Oh, it's okay, it's all family. Here That's we go. my little sister Kathy. We're really proud of her. Never mind the man behind Kathy. <laughs> It's an 03. It's named after her husband. Who is you? Which is me. That's right. And in a particular vintage, if there's one barrel that stands out above all the rest, she will bottle it and call it Doyle. So there was an 02, there's an 03, and there will be an 05, which isn't labeled yet. And the, uh, the label's being worked on in secrecy. I understand it involves a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a tasteful picture? You have no idea, I'm sure. But <laughs> so that's the O2 oil. This is, this is the O2. This is the O2. Vegas and we're here at the conclusion of Fiddle Fest 2008. It's been a wonderful experience, a beautiful venue here. You can't 
ask for a better venue than to have music, great food from the Hitching Post. Kathy Joseph was here. Lots of winemakers were here that all use some of the, the fruit that comes in this fabulous vineyard. And they all came together today for a spectacular event. And there could be more this evening, who knows. But for now, I said 2008 Fiddle Fest here in the Santa Rita Hills. Spectacular event. And if you get a chance to attend 2009, it's a definite stop.